Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem recently asked in CAT exam. 40 liters of milk is in a container. 4 liters are replaced from the container with water. This process is followed till the milk is less than water. How many repetitions are required? First, let us solve this problem by using the formula. After that, I will try to explain how this particular formula is derived. Now, first we have to understand that what is the meaning of till the milk is less than water. Now, suppose I have 40 liters and I go on adding water. Then let us say I have milk quantity here and water quantity here. When they both are equals to 20, 20, they are equal. When milk becomes less than 20, then automatically water will become more than 20 because they should add up to 40. So our scenario now is that we have to get the final quantity of milk should be less than 20. Now what is the formula for this? The formula is what is the original quantity of milk? 40 that you multiply with 1 minus how many liters of milk we are replacing every time 4 liters total quantity is 40 originally how many repetitions I have to do that is n now this is the formula we are going to use to solve this problem so here we have the quantity of milk left after n repetitions we have originally 40 liters of milk. Every time we are replacing 4 liters of milk with water. And after how many times? N times we will be having this quantity of milk less than 20 liters. Now this is what we need to calculate N value. Now let's go ahead try to and simplify this equation. Inequality actually we have 1 minus 4 by 40 whole to the power of n is less than 20 by 40 that will give us 1 minus 1 by 10 whole to the power of n is less than 1 by 2 that will give you 0 0.9 whole to the power of n is less than 0 0.5 that means what will be my n value so that 0 0.9 whole to the power of n is less than 0 0.5 for that we will just check 0.9s and we will try to multiply them and see when we will get first time value less than 0.5 let us take randomly some numbers and try to multiply them how many times we have to multiply 0.9 this is 0.81 this is again 0.81 four times we have done 0.81 now by this time n equals to 6 and if I do this also n equal to 7 let us put n equals to 7 and see whether it will be less than 0.5 for that will come from here 0.81 into 0.81 is 0.6561 let me put that in another color so that there is no confusion now this part is giving you 0.6561 and this part is giving us 0 0.81 if you multiply this approximately you don't need to the exact multiplication you will see it is approximately 0 0.53 now if you multiply that with the 0 0.9 certainly you are going to get something which is less than 0 0.5 it will be approximately 0 0.48 so first time we have the value less than 0 0.5 that is happening when n equals to 7 so after seven repetitions the milk quantity will be less than that of water quantity now let us see how this formula is derived by this time we should have understood that the formula what we are going to derive is is in geometric progression let us see why it is initially after let us say initially the milk is 40 liters and the water is 0 the milk what ratio in the mixture is 40 by 40 next time when you go you are subtracting from 40 liters 4 liters of milk 
at the time milk ratio as we said 40 by 40 so that is giving us 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 after simplification we get this is equals to 36 so this is in the ratio now 36 by 40 now next time when we go how much milk we are removing next time from the 36 liters we are removing milk in the ratio 36 by 40 and for 4 liters so that will be 36 into 1 minus 4 by 40 so if you understand now try to write this in 1 by 1 after first what you got is 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 after second what you got is 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 whole square because 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 is 36 so you can see that after first time it is 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 whole to the power of 1 second time 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 whole square that means the formula is 40 into 1 minus 4 by 40 whole to the power of n for n repetitions.